IHTN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Good afternoon, Indian Hill. I'm Ben Bayless. And I'm Alana Love. We have lots of sports coverage this week, so let's get into it. On Thursday, the annual Powder Puff game took place. The seniors took back the title, which was a very tightly contested game versus the juniors. However, the class of 2020 looks very good for next year. Your IH Braves baseball team played three games this week so far. They found it Reading 15-5 on Monday. Today they play Taylor for the CHL title. Make sure to go out and support your Braves. The girls and boys lacrosse teams are staying busy this week. With three games each, be sure to come out and support the Lady Braves tonight in their matchup at Turpin High School at 7 o'clock. As for the boys lacrosse team, they took home the win against Lakota East on Monday and they face Summit tomorrow away at 4, which should be another great game. Your Braves softball teams play tough games against Redding and Taylor this week. Come out on Monday at 5 to cheer them on against Finneytown. On Tuesday this week, several of your Braves formally committed to play sports at colleges across the country. Congrats to Callum Aiken, Kate Mars, Emily Morera, Ellie Ravenold, David Reiner, and Regan Wentz. This past Monday, 83 students took the National Honor Society oath and were inducted into NHS. This, the officers for this upcoming school year are co-presidents Mary Claire Pavlik and Maggie Jutsey, Vice President Jonah Sorcher, Treasurer Elizabeth Saba, and Secretary Anae Gotham. Congrats to everyone. Mark your calendars. Chieftain is hosting a Chipotle fundraiser next Saturday, May 4th from 5 to 9. All you have to do is show them the flyer and let them know you're supporting IH Chieftain. Please help and come out. The Cincinnati Sports Awards were hosted on Thursday. Eight athletes were recognized for our school. Congrats to Anna Potajol for winning and Ben Bayless and Maddie Antonucci for being finalists. A few of our IH Penn Ohio writers went down to Dublin, Ohio to participate in a writing competition on March 16th. Freshman Samara Summers and sophomore Julianne Lambert both qualified for the state competition in May with Julianne Lambert placing second in the JV Individual Writing Awards. Best of luck to our competitors in their next competition. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Don't forget, prom is coming up. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy and you know. The sun is so bright, but not as your leafy dresses. <laughs> I can't read Vietnamese. Welcome to Vietnam, ladies. Today we're going to explore the Earth's ecosystem. One of the things I look for is someone being adventurous. Like Lena walking on the path of paradise. I found the stick! Yay! Yay! Things are so different here. Everyone say Vietnam! 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 Everyone's just slowly becoming like a little family. Did you get that? Hello, vlog. We're out here in Vietnam, but I'm not impressed with any of the girls yet. Well, everyone says Vietnam is supposed to be really nice, but I mean, like the date here, like the budget is not really working. Somebody else is starting to think that we're like, not in Vietnam? Um, I don't know. 